Wiki, because Wiki from his history is a destroyer. He has destroyed PDP. He has destroyed every man he has supported. He has destroyed. So Wiki cannot bring anything good or new in this state. What advice do you have for the vast people generally? No, what I will tell the vast people is clearly we should be patient with the government of the day. Be led by Sin Fubara. We just have to be patient. We elected Sin. We should be patient with him. Sim is doing his best. All we can is doing is distractions. The distraction must be there. We just have to pray for Sim. And urge our rivers, brothers, sisters, and our mothers and fathers to be patient with him. We will get to the promised land. We just have, we must get to it. It's not about we can, we can see material. We don't, as far as I'm concerned, I don't even discuss we can anymore in this state. Now, so reverse people must be patient with him and trust him and believe in him. As an advisor of of, uh, of uh, Governor Simla Fobara, what advice do you have for him? No, the advice I'll give to him is that be focused. Just be focused. Uphold the rule of law and do the things you are elected to deliver on the dividends of democracy. Deliver the dividends of democracy to your people. As to the question of Wiki, fine. He has supported you, good. But you cannot die in his hand. As to the question of the House of Assembly, we elected members to serve the state, but they chose to serve the FCT minister. Allow them to continue to serve. We have our judiciary intact. We have the executive intact. We have the assembly intact. Same will work with them and deliver the dividends of democracy. All he needs to do is to be focused. He's not supposed to be bothered about Wiki. Wiki because Wiki from his history is a destroyer. He has destroyed PDP. He has destroyed every man he has supported. He has destroyed. So Wiki cannot bring anything good or new in this state. Yes. About the 27 lawmakers who are trying, the, the last week they say that they will be restated and all those kind of things. You are a very knowledgeable man. Examine their fit. There are things that are possible. There are things that are not possible. First and foremost, you know I served in the House. I served in the House of Assembly between 2007 and 2015. I was a member. By 2011, I became the deputy leader of the House. So I know the workings of the House. You are elected to serve the state. You are not elected to serve an individual. Your mandate is for four years. Your mandate is not beyond four years. You see, in all this noise, all these things they are doing, by 2027, they are gone. Nobody will renew their mandate beyond 2027. They will go for the election. But because they have chosen for the mandate they are elected for four years, to vacate their seat on their own. Nobody asked them to do so. I don't think that issue should be a subject of discussion. Because on their own, they voluntarily decide to move to APC. But you can see as useless as they are. This is a group of persons that have decamped to APC. Today they say they have not decamped their PDP. Is that the kind of lawmakers we should have in this state? The answer is no. Beyond that, Beyond that, you are elected to make laws for good governance of River State. You are elected to work in, 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 in consonance with the executive and legislature. You decided to, serve somebody, to go and serve somebody in Abuja. Is it our fault? Because they, they have on their own naturally and voluntarily decided to vacate their seat. We don't discuss them anymore. As to the question of uh, representing budget, how do you represent budget to an, a, an, a non-existing uh, legislature? That legislature is non-existent. We have a one legislature that is existent in this state, led by Okojumbu. So even the Supreme Court that makes, the, makes that, that, that uh, decision knows that you can't represent budget to a legislature that is not existent. They know. Outside that, a, a budget has a lifespan of 12 months. This is a third to the last 
three months of the year. If you represent budget now, when will they start? When will they commence deliberation on the budget? When will they start uh, passing it? And when will this implementation start? Because even if even if we ask Fobara today, go and present budget to any House of Assembly, not even Martin Samuel, because they are no longer there. This is October. When will they deliberate on it? When will they pass it? When will the implementation start? That budget, the implementation has long been uh, exhausted. Because by October, you can't go and do, go and present budget of 2024 anywhere to anybody. The judges are Nigerians, they know. Let's leave the fact that they are, they are judges, they are Nigerian. They know that by October 2024, you cannot present the budget of 2024.